I have a Twisby Echo in the lilac color. At least that's what I think I have. It's in Twisby Echo Piston Filling Fountain Pen. And I'm not a fountain pen enthusiast. I really don't know much at all. The only fountain pen that I have is a Pilot Metropolitan. Um, and it wasn't, I mean, it was just sort of random, like why I bought this to begin with. And I use regular, like standard cartridges, um, nothing special, just black ink. I mean, I have Bluetooth, but I mostly, I've almost finished like using all of these um, cartridges. And these are like the, I'm assuming they're the standard cartridges, but they're very long, so they last longer. Um, but black ink, really simple. This is what I usually use to write in my um, A6 Hobonichi for daily journaling. Um, and it's just like straight up writing and that's it, really simple. So I really don't know a lot about fountain pens, but of course um, I hear about it and there's always the want to learn more and understand better. Um, and I guess one of the one of the things I've realized is that if you don't use a fountain pen, um, like I could have gotten a converter, obviously, so that I could use bottled inks and just put it in here so I don't have to get cartridges. Um, I did buy some new cartridges, but they're, it's like sepia ink, because I wanted to try that. Um, but I decided to get this Twisby Echo in lilac because I really, really like the color. And the ink that I wanted was this purple, it's called Purple Pizzazz by, how do you pronounce this, Diamine? Um, and it's shimmering. And I bought a very, does it say here? Yeah, it says 1.1, right? This is like the stub, so it's the really thick kind of nib um, because the point is that I wanna use it specifically with this ink and I think it just matches so nicely. Um, but of course, what do I know, right? Because I'm a total beginner. Um, so I bought it from Stilo Estile. It's in, I believe they're in Rome, um, this shop in Italy where you can buy fountain pens and Hobonichi and related type of things, but mostly like fountain pen shop. Um, so that's what's accessible to me, which is why I order from them. Um, so this is what I got and I just wanted to unpack it and attempt to use it and share it with all of you. Um, so I have here a sheet of Tomoe River paper or two sheets of Tomoe River paper. Um, so in the past I had bought this 100 sheets like pack of Tomoe River paper that is A4, it's in white, and it's only 52 grams though. So it is not what is in the Hobonichi. I believe the Hobonichi has a slightly doesn't it? I think so. Um, because this feels way thinner. Um, so I don't really know <laughs> what to use this for. But now I guess I will have a reason to use a fountain pen on this. Um, but again, it's just a new thing. So here we have the Echo. It's in this little holder thing here. And it's in this plastic case. It says Echo with the logo. And I guess in the back here it shows you like the parts and obviously it's written also in is it Chinese or well, Japanese. Um, cap assembly, nib, feeder, o-ring barrel, barrel, piston, screw, connector, screw bolt, end cap. Um, so this is definitely dangerous for me in the sense that the piston filler, I mean it's good in the sense that you can use bottled inks. So you should use the piston filler to like refill. Why can't I not open this? Oh, it's sealed. Hold on. Is why I have this. Just going to slice this. And I was going to say, this is dangerous because I'm sort of clumsy. Like, I'm not the best and at doing that kind of thing, and I feel like I'm going to get myself all dirty with ink. Um, like, cartridges are obviously so much easier to use. So here you have, let's see, oh, so it does tell you something, thank goodness, and it's in English too. It says filling it, it says don't do this, meaning don't dip the pen in 
too much, right? Is that what they mean? Soak up the excess ink on the feeder. Oh my God, this is already like too complicated for me because I don't know what I'm doing. Does the piston feel filler mean that you can fill up the ink while it is in the pen? Or you're supposed to fill it up when it's not. When refilling and changing the nib feeder of high volume changer fountain pens, allow air inside, air is allowed inside the barrel, causing an imbalanced pressure within. Oh no! The result is ink being pushed out at a rapid rate. Therefore, after reinstalling the mink, the nib feeder, make sure nib feeder are seated properly at the bottom of the feed chamber. Please remember to use a cloth tissue to soak up all the excess ink on the feeder. Do this also after refills. This will balance out the ink air pressure inside the feeder and barrel, ensuring smooth operation. This already makes me worried because like, I'm not good at this kind of stuff and I'm gonna make a mess. Why do I have all these tools? My lord. Um, do not swallow or contact with eyes. Silicone grease. I should have watched like a tutorial or something. Hmm. But here is the Twisby Echo Lilac. This is lilac, right? <laughs> it looks just much more purple to me. Uh-oh. Has my camera. Oh, I don't know why it, my camera seemed to have slipped up. So this is Oh no, it's not lilac. What am I talking about? It is the Twisby Echo Fountain Pen, the Transparent Purple Special Edition. Why did I think I have lilac? I don't know. I think my camera is like wonking out. Ugh, so annoying. Okay, purple. So it says out no alcohol, I guess. Don't wipe this with alcohol because it's dangerous or it will ruin your fountain pen. I don't know. Um, okay, so what am I supposed to do? This is so pretty. So I am I do love purple in general as a color. Um, and I, for some reason, really fell in love with this like shimmery purple ink and just wanted to use it. Um, maybe not so much for writing necessarily, but even for drawing or any kind of like illustration sort of effects, which is why I got like the very um, giant nib. This is a 1.1 like stub. Um, at least this is what I'm expecting. I do not know since I don't really know a lot about this kind of thing. Um, so we will see what happens. So let's open it up. It's very pretty. Transparent so you can see through. So it'd be very cool when you can see the ink in here which I guess is why a lot of people like like the Twisby Echo, apart from the fact that it's obviously one of the more affordable <laughs> fountain pens out there. Um, you can see the ink inside, so super pretty. It doesn't even look that thick because, you know, if you're used to using like markers or like the parallel pen, um, more like calligraphy pens, they're like giant, right? So we will see. So how do I fill this with ink? <laughs> It says unscrew. Oh, see, it does have the nib. I thought it said not to do this. I'm so confused. See this picture here? It has like the fountain pen dipped in ink, I suppose. And you're supposed to twist, right? Because you're sucking in the ink into the piston filler. But why does this thing show to not do this? What? I'm just confused. Oh, it says not to immediately, maybe this is saying not to immediately use the fountain pen after you filled it up with ink because you've got to soak up all the excess ink on the feeder. How the heck do you do that? Who knows? So right now, if I twist it, what would happen? Oh, okay. So I need to, what do I need to do? Make this go all the way down and then stick it in the bottle of ink and then twist it back up. I'm assuming that's what it is. <laughs> Let's hope I'm right. 
and not going to ruin everything. And why do I have this silicone grease? Oh, it says to do not to over tighten. Do not over tighten with the wrench. I didn't need to use the wrench to you. Why do I need this? Maybe when I want to take it apart. So unscrew, screw. So I'm gonna screw this all the way down and it's tight like this. It says user manual. So the user manual is just these like, this information, that's it. There is nothing else. I don't know, is this supposed to be for people who like obviously know everything about fountain pens? Cause if you're like a total beginner, you know, is this gonna make any sense? So, this pretty, pretty, they're just such pretty bottles. Of course, they are gigantic. This is 50 milliliters. I mean, obviously, it's going to take a while to use, depending. Ooh, it looks so pretty. So, this was lying like this, so I'm sure all the shimmer is there, so maybe you have to shake it up. Are you supposed to do that? Or I guess it's like sedimented onto one side now. Oh, okay, here we go. See, it like went away because I was shaking it up. So, before using this, are you always supposed to shake it up? Oh, look at how pretty the box is. Shimmer, glitter. Are there like instructions for this? Cause again, if you're a total beginner, how would you know? Ah, yeah, it says shake well before use. For best results, use wet broad nib pen. Wet, maybe, I mean, this is as broad as you can get for this type of fountain pen. So I'm assuming that's perfect. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try. I am going to open up, if I can, this ink. Is it already open? Yes. Did I shake it enough? Hopefully. Now let me suck it up. I can't see how far, how far are you supposed to dip this? This looks like it's pretty far, but I feel like that's weird because then you would, ah, you would get it all I guess you do have to dip it that far. Okay. Oh, did I do this properly? Cause there's like a lot of air in it. Should I do it the other way? Is that weird? If I squeeze it all down and then now it's good. Oh, it's because it doesn't. Okay. Okay, so I've done the maximum. There's no more that I can do. Now it's just dripping with ink. Oh my God. Is this how it's supposed to be? <laughs> okay, so fill it up with ink and then it says to soak up all excess ink on feeder. What does that mean? I don't even know what the feeder is. I need like more instructions. Wait, let me read what this said in the back. What is the feeder? Number three is Oh, meaning like clean it, right? <laughs> I should have like some tissue on me or something, but I don't. So let me close this because I'm so afraid that I'm gonna knock it over. I'm like a clumsy person. So this is like such a dangerous procedure. Um, I need to get like a napkin, hold on. Wait a minute. I really should probably use something else, but I have baby wipes. Is that okay or is this like sacrilege? Is it gonna make my like fountain pen rust or something? I don't know. Okay, so I'm cleaning here because it was dipped obviously in and trying to clean it. Ah, yikes. Hopefully this is, ugh, now I'm like all dirty everywhere. Okay, anyways, so put this aside this away actually so hopefully this is filled up so the ink is so dark it just looks like black ink right you can barely tell but obviously if you use it for a while maybe so let's see okay super smooth that's what you get for Tamaya river paper right so this is like the really thick and I'm very much like a thick I know everyone says that you're supposed to get a super fine like extra fine fountain pen or something but I am not really like that usually um, 
I'm like heavy handed, I like the thick line. Um, I just realized when people swatch inks, do they use like a Q-tip or something? How do they get like a huge blob there? Um, I mean, I guess I could go like this in color, but I don't know if that is how you're supposed to do it. Woohoo, so pretty. I don't know if you can tell because it just looks dark, but obviously in real life I can see like the glitter that is in this. And I don't really have nice handwriting. Maybe that's why I'm not really into fountain pens for the same reason, but I mean, I appreciate them. I just don't have great penmanship like some people when they journal and you can see they have like page after page of like perfect journaling. I, I don't have that, but I do appreciate it. I wish I could do it, but I'm just not patient enough to, to do that. I have pretty messy handwriting. Um, okay. I do like this pen. It's really easy to write on this paper and it is super thick. So I don't know if You go see how the, the line is really really thick but you can obviously lighten your touch and use it in a different way to get like smaller lines so you could definitely use this for you know drawing or drawing like sketching um, I guess not a lot of people do that because fountain pens are more about writing and the shimmer I don't you can't really tell I think in the video but it's definitely there it's super pretty so I think I successfully put ink in this and it's working and it's not, you know, leaking. Yay! So super easy to use, like set up and use the Twisby Echo. Um, obviously not cheap for, like if you're not a fountain pen enthusiast or someone who uses like any kind of fancy pen, it seems sort of crazy to be paying, you know, like 30 euro or something like that for um, a pen. You know and you have to buy the ink but obviously it writes like a lot better there's no skipping you know it's not like a it I don't hate ballpoint pens I actually use ballpoint pens a lot and I actually use cheap pens a lot as well um, it doesn't really bother me especially if you're just writing like a grocery list like who cares right but for things that you are supposedly gonna keep forever or for the ease of writing like for someone who writes a lot if you're writing, you know, three full pages of morning pages every day, or, you know, your personal journaling pages and pages, it's a lot smoother. You know, it's not the same as using other pens. Um, even though I personally am pretty heavy handed, um, so I often like cramp up, you know, like <laughs> when I'm writing too much. But I love this that is so thick. But I'm sure this is not a very like what do you call it like shimmer inks are very cool because they have like this element of glitter mixed into it or I don't know if it's glitter whatever it is um, so it has this shine and once it dries you'll be able to obviously see it if you're looking at it in real life like on camera I don't know if it'll necessarily show up um, but you can definitely see it but of course there are other inks that have when people say like there's the sheen or there's this double color where like maybe it's blue ink but it has like a green you know sheen to it I don't know if that's how you say it but you know you see like multiple colors so it's very cool and I love the fact that this is super thick it's the 1.1 millimeter so very thick most people always talk about wanting finer nibs um, I guess because if you're writing small you're not gonna want like a giant you know nib because you're not gonna be able to write small um, and sometimes I like print I don't write in handwriting. I often print like, if you look like this in my one of my journals, like it's just printing. Um, not all the time, it just depends um, on the situation, like what, what I'm writing and stuff, but you're not gonna be able to do it small because it's such a thick nib. But for like, you know, if you have like regular lines like this, you totally can, you know, just write you know, regularly. 
without problems and still be able to read. It is thick, but if you're into that kind of thing, or, you know, if you're using this for like titles, um, I'm afraid I'm gonna get my hand dirty, so I'm gonna turn this around. Um, like some people that are into like bullet journaling and you want maybe one color for like highlights and things, then you totally can, you know, use something thicker like this. I just think it's pretty. And obviously for illustration as well and sketching, if you were to do anything, you know, just lines, you can get like super thick, super thin, if you go this way, depending on how you want to do it. And, and of course now it's like the rabbit hole of inks, right? You're going to want so many different kinds of inks and switch things up. Um, I like the ease of cartridges and that kind of thing because you don't, it's so much easier to use, but bottle inks means that you're obviously going to save on money. So this is a screw cap, I'm assuming, to close it up. It's closed. Pretty. I don't know why it's red. Are they all red? Like all the Twisby Echo tops here? I don't know. Hmm. But it's very pretty. Um, but like cartridges obviously are way easier and more portable. Um, like if you're a student or something, it's way easier to use cartridges and a lot cleaner for someone who's like clumsy and stuff. But after I finish using all my black ink in the Pilot Metropolitan, then I'm gonna use sepia because I just wanted to change things up a little bit. Um, and we'll see what happens. I guess this would be a good pen, a fountain pen for like sort of calligraphy practice too because I mean, it's not super, super thick for calligraphy, but 1.1 is obviously like one of the broadest for one of the broadest for fountain pens, so you totally can. But I have no handwriting skills, so I, I think I write very much like a kindergartner. That is like the extent of my skill. But super pretty. And where I colored this, I mean, it looks crazy because of the, let's see. See how this is Tomoe River paper? I like colored that a little too much, but it doesn't even, doesn't bleed over, there's just ghosting. It's just that this is the 52 GSM, so it's it's way thinner than normal like Hobonichi um, journals. And this is like the sheet paper, like Tomoe River, and it's the old one because I bought this long, like years ago, so um, old paper. But yeah, if you, you can't really see because of the video, but it has such a pretty sheen, like, is that what you call it? I'm sorry if I'm like using the wrong terminology, but you can see the glitter in like this part that you're calling it's so pretty. This is so like, if you're into, it makes me think of like, if you're into like moon journals, tarot, any of that kind of stuff, astrology, how beautiful it would be to use this pen, this fountain pen with this ink to do all the things because it's just, it's perfect. Or like magic. Um, related things. Oops. If, for example, for one month I totally did this moon journal. So you, every day you would like draw. There's like a lot of ink coming out of this, so this is obviously too much. You have to sort of move like fast because, like, if you're writing, obviously it's okay. But when you're trying to like if I color in this whole area, it's like puddling up a lot of ink. So, and obviously because of this type of paper, right? If I use a different kind of paper, what will happen? Let us test. I have some, some of this memo-y kind of paper. Um, I forget, this is from Moment, right? It's like some, I don't remember exactly where it's from, but some fancy brand. Um, so the pa it's like thickish, card stocky-ish. So let's, so the paper totally took it even though it's like super thick writing and but what would happen if I colored in like a whole 
spot because I'm sure that would be a lot. <laughs> so this paper like absorbs the ink a lot, obviously absorbs the ink as opposed to the Tomoe River paper which like the ink is sitting on the top of it, um, which is what it's made to do so that it doesn't go over to the other side, but I'm going to try to color this entire circle and I'm making like horrible marks, but whatever. Color in this entire circle to see what kind of effect this shimmer ink gives me. It's just so pretty. I mean, if you like this kind of thing, super pretty. I can totally understand why some people just do like love doing swatch journals for their inks because you just want to color it in and look at the swatches. So I just realized like shimmer ink is it okay to leave it in your fountain pens? Does it ruin it? Does the glitter like mess things up? I wonder. Because I have no idea and I hope not to ruin this like first, besides the Pilot Metropolitan, but this first fountain pen that I have. So I colored this all in and it's like obviously, you know, sort of damp on the other side, but it didn't, it still hasn't like bled through because this was pretty thick. But super glittery. So pretty. Oh, the glitter. It's really pretty. So that's all I wanted to share today. This is the Twisby Echo purple color. 